Florida. They are expecting to hit that number and hoping to here on what is a historic day in volleyball nationwide. And it is a thrill to bring it to you here tonight. Arkansas and Wisconsin. Wisconsin moving to number one in the country after Texas lost their opener to Long Beach State. Wisconsin was number two in the preseason poll, now number one in the country. Wisconsin will serve to get things started with Izzy Ashburn at the service line. Number two on Wisconsin's all-time ace list. We're underway. Immediately a set for Gillen. Good play by Ashburn to get there. Robinson dug out by head. Gillen finds the spot, gets the first point. That shot's exactly what Jason Watson said Jill Gillen does so well. Even when out of system, she makes production happen, going for that hole and finding that spot on the floor. Sonia Pettis with the first serve for the Razorbacks. Julia Orschel off the block. Gillen, that's more what we've become accustomed to seeing from Jill Gillen throughout her career. What a, great player. Effort. what a great player she is. And with a huge block in front of her, she's really going to have to use the block and find ways to score. And so it's really cool to see. Great effort by Head to keep the point alive. And that's really, you touched on it, Shelby. That one's going to float long. And Wisconsin has their first point. If Arkansas is going to have to pull, the, going to pull the comeback. They're going to have to scrap and fight point after point here tonight, according to Jason Watson. And you don't see Logan. Tell me if I'm wrong, but it's a lot harder for a six-nine player to get on the ground and get digs. And I'm sure Arkansas is going to take advantage of that. Exactly, exactly. They're definitely going to extend rallies and put Wisconsin on the floor to try to win this game. Ooh. Great job by Wisconsin to stay in the point, and they get it with the hustle and the scrappy play on their end to tie it at two. I've never seen a free ball kill like that one, Logan. A little miscommunication. It's early in the match. She's taking out some nerves against a really great Wisconsin team. Yuli Orgel. That one goes long. Service error for Wisconsin. Give the point to Arkansas. Hannah Hogue will go back to serve for the Razorbacks down the road in Fort Smith. Arkansas coming off a sweep of Tulsa on Sunday in the Razorback Classic. Their season opener was home against Michigan State. They swept that match. They won the third set, convincing lead 25-10. Maggie Cartwright, they say it's on the line. And Wisconsin had a good look at it. They are not going to challenge a point for the Razorbacks. So Jason Watson's team comes in at 2-0 on the season, coming off a trip to the NCAA tournament last year, his eighth season now here in Fayetteville. They are nationally ranked 21st in the country after those two wins to start the season. Robinson, wow. uh, that is a lot on that one. Even when so far off the net, you can't even tell Robinson isn't tight because she can just reach so high and find that line shot. She's incredibly talented and athletic. Yeah, she has so much range, and she's really able to put the ball anywhere in the court. It's super impressive. Carter Booth checks out. Here's Gulce Guchtikin. Now, Kelly Sheffield has been experimenting and playing with lineups over the first couple of weeks. We saw Yulia for a couple of games, rather, in these first couple of weeks. Yulia Orgel was in the Libero's jersey in the opener. Guchtikin wow. has the Libero here today. Point for Wisconsin. Kelly Sheffield said when they won the national championship a couple of years ago, he didn't get his set lineup until the week before the NCAA tournament. So mixing and matching, experimenting is something he's done before, and I'd say with great success. And when you're on that level like Logan has been, you are <laughs> you can play on the fly like that and adjust to each other. For sure. It's nice to have that much talent on the bench where anyone can come in on any day and help the team win. Some good defense early here for Arkansas. And that one's blocked back out of play by Gillen, a point for Wisconsin. Gillen got the tool, but the fact that this 5'7 player even can go up against Devin Robinson shows the jumps that Gillen has, how high she can reach over the net. And just adjusting her hand, that's a simple adjustment.
On the slide, Cartwright. Wow. That slide is what Jason Watson's team has been working on. Cartwright having perfect connection with her setter. Looking seamless. Left to your screen. Wide open net right there. Cartwright sees that and still goes for that back corner. Great play by Arkansas. Dylan with the serve. Set back for Robinson who oh. hammers it home. So good. Robinson's going to be a huge impact player this game. She has so much power and she can see the court so well. It's going to be really exciting to see what she does. Opening weekend, she, she had 3.3 kills per set, Shelby. Hit 487, she hit 545 against TCU. There are things she does that are pretty, it's hard to defend. Those are huge numbers, <laughs> yeah. MJ Hamill. Cartwright off the block, then off the antenna, point for Arkansas. Razorbacks looking really confident against that huge Wisconsin block. We saw a couple tips, those first couple points, but right now they're swinging away. Courtney Jackson with the serve. Jackson trying to scramble out of the way. And a double call, so it's going to be a point for Wisconsin to give the Badgers 7-6 lead. Logan, how important is it to stay in system against a top-ranked team like Wisconsin? Super important. You know, their block sees the game so well, and so when you're in system and it forces the block to make decisions, it's super, super hard for them to get double blocks and gives Arkansas opportunities to get up there and score. Off the block and dropped in. Timmy Thomas Ilara was on the service line. She has got a rocket of a serve, but Arkansas sides out. Point for the Razorbacks. Arkansas knew that the Wisconsin block was going to be huge, and they're doing a great job of just finding the corners of the block and really using it to their advantage. Hamill gets there. Crawford sets it back for Orgel, goes to the left hand. Kuchtikin with the dig. Nice dig. Nice save. Kuchtikin with the save, but Arkansas gets the point. I think so far you're seeing that scrappiness for Arkansas that it has to be a prerequisite here today. For sure. They just have to stay super scrappy and keep the rallies going as long as possible to kind of take over this game and get ahead of Wisconsin. Why is it important for Arkansas to have long rallies, to have long points against this Wisconsin team, Logan? This Wisconsin team's so long, they're huge at the net, but with the speed that Arkansas has, when the rally gets long, the Wisconsin bloggers can kind of get undisciplined, maybe a little tired, and it opens up the net so much for the Arkansas hitters. That seems like a Jer Elliott word, undisciplined. Yeah. <laughs> I should throw I've that, that into times. my vocabulary. Thanks for that one. Of course, I've heard, <laughs> heard that a few times in my career at Texas. <laughs> not about not, not about you. Never no me, way. never me, no. <laughs> what was something you felt you were undisciplined in sometimes? Oh, nothing, come not, on. Okay, no, nothing. No. Okay, your freshman year is <laughs> what I meant. Definitely in the block. You know, it's okay. hard to read the players on the other side of the net, see it right, and get your hands low and over the net. Um, I think Wisconsin does a great job of it, but again, with this fast offense, they have to stay super disciplined and make sure they're not reaching or anything um, and just being straight and over so their defense can read right behind them. Taylor Head with her first kill, 13 kills in each of the first two matches of this season for Arkansas. Wow. Wisconsin can't handle the serve, and the Razorbacks have bounced back to go back up by two. And Jason Watson said that we might miss some more serves than usual because we are coming at it with everything, and right now that aggressiveness working out for them. Hamill had a long way to go, a little too far to get to that, and Arkansas stretches it out to a three-point lead. Arkansas is being really strategic here, targeting that seam between the two outside hitters. I think it's really important for them to keep the ball away from the libero to get Wisconsin out of system so they can get a really strong double block on the pin. And it's really working out for them. Head with the service error. That is number three for 
Arkansas in this set. As Shelby just mentioned, Jason Watson was expecting some of those errors to pile up, just trying to be aggressive with the serve here today. Well, and Taylor had had the error, but she had two aces before that one, so it might sting a little less. Cancels out. I yeah, <laughs> there you go. Two aces, one error. Rolls down the tape, dug out by Orgel. Robinson uh, drops in for the point for Wisconsin. Yeah, Robinson's just showing her full game. She can swing hard like we saw earlier in the set, but she's also super smart and can just find different ways to score. And Robinson was being smart and seeing that Gillen's hands were off the net and maybe four inches off the net, but that's an easy way for Robinson to score on her. Gillen. Handled by Wisconsin, Orgel. You got two players that are going to go full out, Orgel and Gillen, who get every ounce out of their size and their power. But right now, Arkansas is winning the battles in set one. What a huge block that is. And you see the ball's obviously off the net. Izzy Ashburn's running across the court. They knew it was going to go outside, and the block's ready. Low, pressed over, and it's really hard to get around that. Good job by Pettis. In her first year with Arkansas after transferring over for Mississippi State. Wow. Oh, good job by Robinson. Found the opening, got the kill. That's perfect. her fifth. Yeah, it was perfect in system play for Wisconsin from the pass. Able to open Robinson to run that slide. That's something that Kelly Sheffield really wants to be able to run is that slide. Robinson hitting 833 so far here in set number one, keeping her hot streak going from the TCU match. Ashburn. For Orgel. Ooh. Orgel and Guchtekin collide trying to get to it. And Kelly Sheffield's going to bring in Jocelyn Boyer into the match. So Boyer, who played three sets in the opening weekend, will check in for Orgel. Play. That's Taylor Head. Wow. Wisconsin stuck with it. They get the kill. Carter Booth making that three look easy, all starting with that great pass, running that 6 2. And Wisconsin's offense just so intact right now. Even when Arkansas is having these great balls, Wisconsin's still coming back in system, able to open up that middle. Ashburn back for Robinson. Ooh, Arkansas blocked. with the block. Zoe Evans. They know it's going back to Robinson. She's been producing so much for Wisconsin, so they have to shut her down, and that's that's the way to do it right there. Watch how their middles just get low and over the net. They know Robinson swings hard, and they just got to get right in front of her. Gillen gets the block assist as well. She's back to serve here for the Razorbacks. Robinson gets it to drop in, point Wisconsin. And Robinson's that player where if she does get stuffed, she really does not care. Short-term memory, kind of like what Logan said, Jerry Elliott calls you a goldfish. That's <laughs> who you have to be. You have to be able to let go of that last point, move on, and she still swung away and got the kill. Exactly. She's a great player, but, yeah, definitely has a short-term memory, can forget the past and always move on to the future and focus on the next play. So really fun to watch her play. Nice dig, wow. And then the double, sending it over for Wisconsin. Point for Arkansas. We get to our first timeout, and Arkansas is on top by two here in Fayetteville. We are back, fifth meeting all time between Arkansas and Wisconsin. Series even at 2-2. Last time they met was September 1st, 2017. It's the first time they've ever met here in Fayetteville as the number one team comes here to Barnhill. And it's a good start so far for Arkansas, hanging tough and then some against number one Wisconsin. Logan, so far what stood out to you for why Arkansas is in front right now? 
You know, I think Arkansas could be really intimidated by this block, but they're not at all. They're just swinging away, being really smart with their shots, and finding ways to score around the block. Um, and it's, it's really impressive. Good job defensively by wow. Arkansas, but it doesn't last long because Anna Smrek gets the kill. It's so nice to see middles work that hard in transition. You know, a lot of times when you get digs, we're not going to our middles, but to see that their middles are up and ready just opens up the court so much more. Yuli Orgel is going to come back into the match. She came out here in this first set, had a long conversation with head coach Kelly Sheffield. There you see the junior from Poland. She's a great player. She's going to definitely make an impact now that she's back on the court right now. She's an outstanding passer, and that's something that's been lacking for Wisconsin here in this opening set, would you say? For Just sure. quality passing? Yeah, I think so. And, you know, Arkansas, credit to them. They're putting some really aggressive serves on our outsides. And I think Coach Sheffield just wanted to kind of get a little bit more steady in the backcourt, and it's working out for them. I think they'll be okay. Yeah, Arkansas is not playing scared whatsoever, and Wisconsin being the number one team, which – Kelly Shuffled and his players said that's a lot of noise even before the match. You told them that it's it can be nice being ranked number one. I don't know how that feels, but you said that's for the fans. That's for people at home. That's not for us. And you cannot tell that Arkansas is playing down, uh, scared. Is what I'm exactly. saying. Exactly. Yeah, I know. I talked to the team before the game, the Wisconsin team, and I just kind of let them know that the rankings are for all the external people, the fans, you know, all the people watching, but you can't let that dictate how you train every day or how you approach any match, you know. A team like Arkansas is going to come in and compete regardless of what, what you're ranked, and so they kind of have to forget the rankings behind and come out and just play a really good volleyball um, over time. All right, while well, you two were uh, talking it over, I was trying to decipher what was happening on the court because obviously we have a delay, <laughs> so I thank you, but I – it just looks like a personnel, just a substitution issue that they're trying to work out here on the Arkansas end, as we've seen a couple players coming and going. It is Wisconsin serve right now, and here comes Temi thomas Ilara, who can really wow. hammer it, but it goes long. It's great to handle that serve, and they didn't have a libero on the court, so it's nice to get past the tough server like Timmy without having to actually pass the ball. Especially a tough topspin server. Something you don't see often anymore. Maggie Cartwright to serve. Orgel blocked out of play. Point Wisconsin. There she is. That's what she does best. She's a great scorer and just finds different ways to use the block, to use some off-speed shots, and then to crank, crank away when she needs to. First kill for Orgel on nine total swings so far. Almost saved by Hamill, but it's a point for the Razorbacks. And there's Taylor Head. She's another great outside for Arkansas, and she's also great at just using the block, finding different ways to score. This outside duo on the Arkansas team is really going to carry them throughout this game. Wow, nice Taylor, pass. Taylor had six rotation fixture since her freshman year. Wisconsin gets this point, and Robinson and Ashburn will check back in. And that play is why it's so important for Arkansas to serve so tough at Wisconsin because Orzel got a three-option pass, able to run their middle to Booth. And it's so hard to stop when they're in system like that, and it can especially run their middle and serve receive. Wisconsin once again this year running the 6-2. So you see Ashburn back on, the two setters. Hamill and Ashburn. Ooh. Wow. A little miscommunication, and it will be a point for Arkansas. You're talking about the 6-2, and I think 6-2s are really cool because it allows for more players on the bench to get in the game. And it, it helps the Wisconsin block so much. They're able to get two really, really great right side blockers on the court um, that usually wouldn't be able to be on the court. Pettis to serve. Arkansas playing a 5-1 for now. They played 6-2 last year. Jason Watson was telling us that maybe they would play a little 6-2, but 5-1's the offense right now, and Robinson is on the attack for Wisconsin again. Carter Booth, Devin Robinson. 
Bringing some of that size up front for Wisconsin. Watch, they're just grabbing the ball. They're seeing it. They're seeing that Jillian is just kind of coming in with that off speed, and they're seeing it early and just grabbing it and putting it down. Service error for Orgel. That is number three for Wisconsin as a team, and Arkansas a point away from 20 here in set one. Anna Hogue with the serve. Ooh. They'll drop in for the ace. Arkansas service pressure is real right now. Wisconsin needs to find a way just to get it high middle of the court. It doesn't have to be perfect every single time. They have great pins. All of their pins can hit really well. I just the ball nice high middle of the court so they can put the ball away. Wisconsin takes a timeout here, down by three. Like, whoa, what a huge advantage for Wisconsin. But Arkansas has the three-point lead here in the first set. Yeah, I mean, I think they were expecting this block to be big, and they knew they were going to have to find different ways to score. And they're using the block. They see the Wisconsin blockers kind of reaching here and there, and they're just taking advantage of it. But, you know, with height like this, the block's going to work eventually. So we're definitely going to see some monster blocks tonight, and it's going to be really cool. If you were up against middle Wisconsin, Anna Smurek, 6'9", would you come out hitting or tipping or rolling? Like, what would be your initial game come plan on. against Logan, her? Logan is <laughs> okay, okay. taking better, it head, better, on. Better question. head on. No, no I uh, I'm going to swing pretty hard for sure. <laughs> better question, when would you decide when to tip or when to swing against a block like that? Yeah, I think it's important to start swinging strong. You know, you got to give them a little taste of what you can do. And then once the defense is really deep, that's when you start throwing in some tips and roll shots because the defense isn't going to expect you to hit deep and hit hard. But when you throw those tips and rolls in, kind of like the middle of the set, that's when you can really change it for yourself. And here's the change here for Arkansas. Biggest crowd they've played in front of. Student section is packed all the way to the last row. It has been loud in here from the start, and it's going to get a little louder here if Arkansas can get another point. Not this time. Wisconsin comes out of the timeout to get the point, and they're within two. Just what I was talking about, Devin kind of took a little bit off of that. It was a roll shot. The Arkansas defense is ready for her to swing hard and deep, but when she throws something in like that, they're just not ready. It's like you're almost Tony Romo, Logan. Hey, you're just pr predicting the future to us. Okay. What can I say? What can I say? <laughs> Dylan. There it is. The block there for Wisconsin, just as Logan mentioned just a moment ago, it's going to show up and it stopped Gillen on that attack. I think it's important for these Arkansas outsides though to not stop swinging hard just because they're getting blocks. Wisconsin's gonna have some great plays. Arkansas has to keep playing hard and keep swinging hard and they just need to be in there covering. They try again with Gillen, a little off speed. And a point for Arkansas. Gillen just has a mad hang time. Her approach, she takes it pretty far deep and she almost looks early at times, but she's not. She just hangs in the air that long, so athletic. She's able to see the block so well in the defense and just put it in the right spot. So if I were playing this block, I would play exactly like her. <laughs> Set for head. Robinson. Robinson oh. finds a spot. From this court side view, you could just see Robinson's wind up. And her body was facing where she hit. Look where Robinson's facing. She's really looking at the right back corner. She sees no one's in their defensive base and takes full advantage of Hogue really pulled into that base. Campbell and Smirk back on. Hard rights for the point. She said right back at you. She's going to cut it with that, that shot cross right back at Wisconsin. She's a player that Arkansas really does want to start using more. It's important to really distribute the ball all with all of your players so that the Wisconsin block can't really expect what's going to happen. Hamill the quick sets wow. and the kill for Smrek. And again, it's so important for Arkansas to get Wisconsin out of system from serve receive because Wisconsin is quite nearly unstoppable, unstoppable when they have a three option pass, especially when they go to the middle. Thomas Ilara on the service line. Can she get this one in? 
She cannot. Fourth service error for Wisconsin this first set. It's a big break for Wisconsin, for Arkansas here. It's a tough serve, and it's nice to get to move on to the next play. Next play starts with a serve from Cartwright. Wow. Pettis with the kill. Set point, Razorbacks. That's a great set from almost the 10-foot line. You see that the Arkansas middles are ready at all times, and that's Wisconsin wasn't really ready for it. The set was so far off the net there, and the middle hitter opened up and was able to cut back to the left side of the court. And Jason Watson said last season the biggest thing they were working on is the connection with their setters and middles. And on the coach's call, it was funny because we asked him, Coach, you said this last year. How's it going? He said, oh, it's still the hardest thing in the <laughs> gym. And a lot of coaches say that. Logan, tell me if I'm wrong, but the hardest thing in volleyball, especially in this day's pace, is that connection with the middles and setters to find that chemistry. For sure, yeah. You never know what kind of pass or dig you're going to get. And so it's hard to get the middles involved. But like they were right there. They need to be ready in all situations and know how to get the ball to their middle in so many situations. Um, it helps open up the court for their outsides and give them more single blocks. But, yeah, it's impressive to see a set like that and a connection like that this early in the season. Arkansas hitting 333 here in set one. Wisconsin with just two blocks here in the first set. And the crowd fired up for set point number one here against the number one team in the country, <laughs> Wisconsin. Okay, you can't not be pumped watching this at home, right? <laughs> feel the power or feel the wrath? Love these signs. Love the student section. So nice to see this many students come to volleyball games, you know, like especially in the SEC, big football conference, but to see this many people committed to volleyball and just helping the sport grow is so cool to see. Now the student section is filled up. They've moved over to <laughs> the general grandstand and they are fired up right now trying to help their Razorbacks get over the hump here in set number one. Cartwright serving for the set. That one. Ooh, as long as they was tipped. Point Arkansas, set wow. for Arkansas. And the Razorbacks knock off number one, Wisconsin in set one. That was an impressive play. See someone running down the ball, the setters running across the court. Still able to get a kill. Over these past several years. For sure, yeah, and that's what Jason Watson was talking about to us earlier is that distribution is so important. They really need to spread out their offense to give them opportunities to score and to find holes in the block. And yeah, the pins for Arkansas are doing a great job of finding those holes. How about adjustments for Wisconsin here in the second set, Shelby? What needs to improve for the Badgers? Uh, Wisconsin needs to take advantage of the serves, be really aggressive in the service. Eve. It got a lot better end of the first set, but they really struggled staying in system from the service event. I think, too, they just need to keep going to their middles. You know, their middles are hitting at a really high percentage and getting kills pretty much 100% of the time. So just finding ways to get to their middles in different situations. Um, Arkansas is not ready for it. Razorbacks to serve to open set number two. Kylie Weeks with the serve, and she'll get a chance to serve again. Violation on Wisconsin, point for the Razorbacks. There it is, though. You see the pass is a little bit off the net, but Izzy is being super aggressive and trying to go to their middles. They know it's working, and I mean, we're going to see a lot more of that this set for sure. Robinson, eight kills in the first set. She was... Certainly the bright spot for that Wisconsin team. She gets a point here to even into one. Nice slide by Robinson taking full advantage of that block for Arkansas. A little late in that connection with the middle and outside. Robinson is taking advantage of Jill Gillen at the front. Here's Orgel back to serve. Four service errors as a team for Wisconsin in that first set. Orgel had a couple. Thomas Ilara had a couple. Wow. Gillen. That's the thing about... Jill Gillen, 
she will wind up, she'll get that energy ramped up. She only knows one speed, and that's full speed ahead. And look how springy Gillen is. She literally freezes in the air. Could care less, she's against Booth and Robinson. Still goes for that cross-court shot. Really aggressive hit. That's an ace. ace. Wow. Hannah Hogue with the ace. Hogue coming off a very strong weekend for Arkansas, the SEC setter of the week. After averaging 11 and a half assists a set, comes up with the service ace here to put Arkansas on top by two. Four aces for the Razorbacks. Nice dig. Straight up. Blocked out of play. Gillen fired up after the point. 4-1 Arkansas. And there she is using that block again. She knows she has a huge block in front of her, but using that outside hand of Robinson, it's super smart play by her. And shout out to libero Courtney Jackson for that backward set. Really nice hands. Free ball here. Cartwright. Nice save. Carter Booth with a quick return to drop it in for the point. For two, set two. Arkansas one set one, 25-21. Guchtekin. Gillen off the block again. Gillen reminds me of Orzel. I would compare those two outsides to each other. They're really springy, athletic. They're competitors. They're fierce. I would not want to say the wrong thing to either of those ones. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, both are just such smart players and can score in so many different ways. And they're, they help their team. They're the glue of the team. They really pull them together, and they're great leaders. Jeez. What a swing. At that point, when you're up against Devin Robinson, it's a perfect set. You see her just coming at you. you got to be just stopped in base, put your helmet on, and get your arms out. Don't move last second. Left to your screen. Look how the libero moves last second, breaks her base. At that point, just be still and try and drop your shoulder to target. Do you want to go try that with Devin Robinson winding up at full power Honestly, right now? it looks really fun. It looks like riding a roller coaster. <laughs> I'm scared, but I want to do it. <laughs> Oh, there's the block. Smreck, Crawford at the net for Wisconsin. What a block. And Arkansas knows that Wisconsin's going to get there. It's number one in the nation, one of the biggest blocking teams. All you can do is try and let your hitters know you're behind them, you're going to cover them, let them know they have the confidence to keep swinging away. Set back for wow. Cartwright. Wright is really showing up this game. She's scoring in so many ways. This cross-court shot is really, really working for them. She sees the late middle blocker and is just really using their hands. Carr right now with five kills. Hitting at 364. Hogue with the dig. Nice up. Off the block, good defense again by Arkansas. They stay in the point, they get the points, and that, they're up by three. That all starts with the defense there. This team is so scrappy and it's so important. It's a great up. Hogue is able to give a nice, good set to the outside and she's able to put it away. That one floats off the mark. Service error number four for Arkansas, point for Wisconsin. Watson said they're going to make some service errors in this game, trying to be aggressive, but that's a great error to make. It's right to the outside. It's a little bit out, but they want to be aggressive in that seam. Thomas Hilara gets this one in. It's handled by Arkansas. Smreck winds up. Head wow. hammers it home. 
like we said, Arkansas is going to have to keep swinging. Wisconsin is going to get their blocks, but then there's going to be opportunities like that for Arkansas to score. To score. And this match is all about momentum for Arkansas. A kill like that for a head up against those two blockers. Finding that split is going to carry over to that next play. Five kills now for Taylor Head. Nice. Big swing from the back by Thomas Ilara to get the kill. I think this is our first kill from the back row. And Kelly Sheffield talked a lot about how it's important for them to have some kind of offense coming from the back row, having four attackers for Arkansas to deal with. And so I think we're going to see a lot more of that to kind of open up the court for the rest of the Wisconsin attackers. And that is her first kill of the match. She did not play against TCU. She had 12 kills and hit 500 in her Wisconsin debut against Baylor on opening night. Pettis off of Borgel, point Arkansas. Perfect slide by Pettis going for the hands of Wisconsin. That's something smart hitters do. They're not trying to go right in the middle. They're trying to get that fingertip shot to get that tool. In system play for Arkansas, one on one. We now Orzel with the hands. Gillen with the dig, then she is set. Wisconsin can't save it. <laughs> Point Arkansas. She liked that one. I like the reaction from Gillen, the smile. She brings so much swag to her team on the outside. And it doesn't need to be a hard hit to get that kill. Whatever it takes to get that momentum, her team pumped up. I love how she goes back to the middle after. Taylor Head with the serve. Quick oh. set for Booth. That's just hard to defend. Arkansas just kind of has to turn around and say, hey, what are you going to do there? Mm -hmm. And move on to the next play. Ashburn and Robinson come back on for the Badgers. Point for Arkansas. There it is again. And we can see that the Wisconsin block is really expecting the ball to go outside to the two big hitters on the outside. And so it's giving the middles on the slide a one-on-one -on -one option. And they're able to find those seams and get big kills. You know, one thing for Wisconsin right now is number 13, Sarah Franklin, has been a spectator here. We watched her during warm-up. Kelly Sheffield. There was nothing that we had heard. We know she had been battling a significant, serious health issue, but she looked great on opening weekend. But so far, Franklin unable to go, what and Arkansas play, is play. on a roll. Some crazy defense from Arkansas. And that's what they're going to need tonight. All reaction from Arkansas. Look at this up. Nice. Not even in base, but that reaction, that correction is what makes Arkansas so good. Why Kelly Sheffield said he's worried playing the scrappy Razorback team. Gillen on the block. What a cover. Orgel winds oh, oh, up. Oh, yeah. how okay. about that? Play on. Oh. Would have been an all-time highlight for Maggie Cartwright with the foot save, but... Devin Robinson's not interested in filling up the Arkansas highlight reel, apparently. Definitely not. <laughs> She's always ready to put the ball away. Hey, when you're an athlete, you can do it all when you're athletic. Logan, did you ever get some foot saves here and there, some soccer going on? I wouldn't say I'm that much of an athlete, no. You're I'm like, no I, <laughs> no, I had a perfect platform pass. Thank oh, no. you. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Whoa. What a play. Oh, 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 that's heavy. Oh. <laughs> she fooled me. Great point by Hannah Hogue. Hannah Hogue being so athletic. Look at this. I, I did not see that tip coming whatsoever. Absolutely no one in the left front for Wisconsin. No way that ball was getting dug up. Great eye by Hogue. Five point lead in set two for Arkansas. Mm. That's in. Robinson continues to pile up the numbers. 12 kills for Devin Robinson as we play here in set two. 
And keep feeding Robinson. It really doesn't matter if she's tight, if she's behind the 10-foot line. In the back row, she can make production happen from anywhere at the right front. Was that, like, was, was that trying? I was like, gonna I'm going to sell the tip, but I know <laughs> I no one touched that. Love the reaction by Maggie Cartwright. <laughs> Absolutely nowhere was there a tip. She goes, come on, tip, looks at her teammates and says, eh, why not? Worth a try. Hey, sometimes it works. You there never know. <laughs> sometimes it's all acting. Dylan. Wow. Right idea. Missed the mark, though. Point for Wisconsin. The fact Dylan can even hit that high and that sharp down the line even though it is out like logan said great idea i'd be happy with that shot if i was gillen for sure on the slide there it is again. wow that slide is why it's so important for both teams to give their setters three option passes. You want to run the middles. You want to run that slide and get your your defense off their feet. Evans, the block by Crawford at the net for Wisconsin. There's that big Wisconsin block there. They're in there, they're gonna get theirs, and that's a huge dive by Caroline Crawford and a really great boot by her to get that block. I love when Kelly Sheffield said that Caroline Crawford is a ninja. You won't even know she's coming. She'll sneak up on you one-on-one -on -one and put that ball right back in your face. Hogue for head. Oh, wow. Thomas Ilara hammers it down and a point for Wisconsin. She's been pretty quiet this game, but she's coming out swinging hard now. I think MJ Hamill knows the theater of the ball, and so I'm expecting to see a lot more sets out to the outside here. Kills have been do dominated by Devin Robinson. She has 12 of the 22 for Wisconsin so far. Head, oh. there's the block, and Wisconsin's running it back. Remember, they were down 13-8 here in this second set, and they've battled back to tie it at 14. Taylor had so far off the net right here, but look at the coverage. It's really next to none. When that hitter is that far off the net, she can't cover her own ball. She needs to know her teammates will have her back with that second touch. Head. Off the mark, and Wisconsin is on a run, and that will get us to our media timeout. Badgers were down by five, now up by one. So I, I'm a, very appreciative that they cool things off here for us. Me as well. I don't know. Well, these Texas girls yeah, these are not Texas used girls, by this weather, Eric, okay? That's true, <laughs> but it's nice to get a little cooler in here. <laughs> Thomas Ilara. What an up. Smrek. Resets oh, wow. and gets the kill. What has changed here for Wisconsin over these last five minutes or so that's put them in front after they were down by five? Arkansas had all the momentum beginning of the set, and it only takes one or two errors to get that momentum back to the number one ranked Wisconsin. So it's really who can just keep that momentum going, in my opinion, Logan. Yeah, and I think Wisconsin's block is really showing up right now. They're low and over the net and just making some huge plays and really causing some problems for the Arkansas offense. Smrack off the block and a point for Wisconsin. Badgers up by three. And when you're up against Anna Smrack, the 6-9 middle, you have to just know she's going to get hers. We have to get through this rotation. So Wisconsin's on top. Smrack with four kills. Carter Booth with four kills. We have not seen Sarah Franklin, as we mentioned before. But 
The key so far has been Devin Robinson on the attack for Wisconsin. Wisconsin right side, Devin Robinson is unstoppable. There's a reason she was the 2021 NCAA Regional All-Tournament team. Head coach Kelly Sheffield said she can do it all. She was a little off in this spring. They had a come to Jesus moment, and she was right back where she was last season. She's the glue to her team, and she's the leader of the Badgers. You know, it was interesting when we were talking to Kelly Sheffield about Devin Robinson, and I think, Logan, maybe you can address this point a little bit because you just had your season, final season last yeah. year, that when you when you near the finish line, sometimes you put a little pressure on yourself. For sure, yeah. When you kind of see the finish line, know that, you know, this is the last time to do a lot of things. You put a lot more pressure on yourself. You don't want to go out regretting anything. And so I think that could have been it. She could have had that extra pressure on herself, wanted to be perfect all the time, and uh, it, it becomes a struggle. It happened to me. It happens to a lot of players all across the country, but I'm really glad that she – had that come to Jesus moment so early in the season and is able to play so free like she is right now. And it then didn't look like it impacted you last year. By <laughs> I the was going to say, <laughs> when did you go through this stump your senior year winning the national championship? I mean, I had a great team around me, so everyone else was picking up the slack. But it is something that really does happen, you know, with those final players in the, at the end of their career. And it's nice to see that's not happening to her right now. She's, <laughs> She's playing well. She's yeah. another level. <laughs> But Arkansas doesn't look scared of her. I will say, even when Robinson's up at the block, hitting, whatever it is, the Razorbacks look so confident. And you can attest to this. Whenever you were Texas, everywhere you go, it's going to be a packed gym. They're going to be yelling at you, try to get in your face. So that's something I'm sure Kelly Sheffield and his team are plenty used to on the road. For sure. So out of the Arkansas timeout, they get a much-needed point to pull within two. Courtney Jackson will head back to serve. A lot of experience on this Arkansas team. We've talked quite a bit about Head and Gillen and Cartwright. Courtney Jackson played in every set a season ago. Back at the bro spot this year. Pettis the new addition, but she's got plenty of experience in the SEC playing for Mississippi State. Off the shoulder of Hogue, out of play, Point Wisconsin. And Thomas Alar started this past week and hit 500. Then Kelly said, then we benched her. We're messing around with our lineup. We're seeing different things. And you're seeing what she can do right here. And that could be frustrating, doing so well, then getting benched. But you come back and put on a performance like she is now. It's a great pass. And there's and the Wisconsin block. block. Yeah, I think the Wisconsin block has really been the game changer in this set. They're really showing up. They're... They know that these Arkansas players are going to keep swinging, and they're just not letting them get around them. It's That's great four close. blocks this set, Logan. They had two blocks in the first set. Great job. Arkansas bounces back, gets the point. And that's Taylor Head being really good with her vision and being super smart. Like Again, she sees the huge, huge block in front of her, and she's finding different ways to score. Cartwright. Nice serve. Ran up on Thomas Ayalara. Good job by Guchtikin to get there. Free ball for Arkansas. Pettis. Guchtikin's got it. Orgel. They set wow. the back. And Arkansas was able to get three blockers up on that. They're kind of expecting it now. They know that Wisconsin is going to use a lot more of their players and use that back row attack option. And they're there and they're ready. Thomas Ilara showing herself a threat at the back row too, trying to stay in rotations as long as possible, showing she can do it from the front and the back. Pettis. Wow. This slide attack is so effective for Arkansas right now. And Arkansas is doing a really great job passing. They're getting it high to the middle of the court and giving Hannah Hogue, the center, the opportunity to really get it to the middle and open up the court. Carter Booth, quick strike by Wisconsin. To go up by four. And that's such a sharp angle. You know, the libero's there ready. 
but it's hard to react to that ball when it's almost in front of the 10-foot line right there. Badgers hitting 500 this set. Arkansas hitting 206. Nice. Uh, another crafty play. We've seen that from Hannah Hogue a couple of times here tonight. What's crazy about Hannah Hogue is that last season she was a DS. She played right back for some part of the season. And this year she's playing three rotation setting. And you can see why she's in. Coach Watson, though, she uses that vision for her. Really good at reading the court against the net. Twenty-one eighteen, Wisconsin, on a warm night in Fayetteville. Shout so out, we, sweat guy, so you're killing we, it. <laughs> sweat guy. Sweat guy. I'm sorry, was that they save lives? I, you know, I, I, I think it <laughs> they fits. They do. They save lives. They do. What a smart play by Wurzel. Is that a t-shirt somewhere? Sweat guys save lives? Say. I mean, is that, a, is that something that you could kind of put into production here maybe, Shelby? Sweat guys save lives. I, I think he would like that shirt. <laughs> oh, he has no idea the airtime he's getting. <laughs> You're welcome. Gillen, Gooch to Ken. Wow. Quite great great hustle, hustle play. Yeah, that's a great effort by Ashburn heading into the bleachers just about, but it's a point for Arkansas. Yeah, we haven't heard Gillen's name in a few plays, but she's she's back. I heard nice high deep. It's hard to defend. Hogue ready to serve. A couple of kills here tonight. And now a service error at a costly time for Arkansas. Wisconsin two points away from taking set two. Uchtekin will head back to serve. Hogue to Gillen. Wow. There she is. I love the response from Hogue as well. She missed her serve, ran to the net, and gave her outside a perfect set, able to set up Gillen for a great kill. Great response by that setter and outside. Dylan grabs the tape. Wow. Thomas Ilar off the block. Such great vision there. She saw that the block didn't get all the way to the line and was able to use the outside corner of that block to tool the line there. Set point for Wisconsin. And Jay Hamill serving for the set. Point for Wisconsin, and they take the set. I don't think we're going to get a challenge here. There's just a look towards our up officials. We watch it again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Went off a of Taylor head. And that's the Wisconsin block we were waiting to see. So good bounce back, 25-20 for Wisconsin in set number two after Arkansas took set one, 25-21. So the teams will switch ends. And after winning set number two, Wisconsin head coach Kelly Sheffield. Here's all right, Kelly. All right, thumbs up. You're down 13-8 in that second set. What changed for your team? Yeah, I mean, the Wisconsin block is going to be a factor in all of their games, and it wasn't there really in set one, and Arkansas took advantage of that. But then they showed up in set two, and I'm expecting to see a lot more really solid blocks this game. Is the Ashburn to serve? Third set is underway here on a Wednesday night in Fayetteville. Robinson a little off balance, still got it over. 
Pettis, that's in. Point, Arkansas. It's so important for Arkansas to take advantage whenever Wisconsin's out of system, even giving them almost a free ball with that roll shot from Robinson. Pettis doing a nice job at finding her setter. Robinson. That misses the mark. 2 nothing Razorbacks. That's a rare error by Robinson. She is usually really good at keeping it in the court, but I know they're going to keep going back to her regardless of that. And Robinson trying to go for that split, having the right idea, but not able to snap enough to get that ball in the court. Carter Booth, first point for Wisconsin here in set three. Super hard to defend the middle of the court from Wisconsin. You know, I think Arkansas really just needs to continue to try to get this Wisconsin team out of system so that they can't go to their middles. Six kills now for Carter Booth. Robinson leading the way with 12. Gillen into double figures for Arkansas with 10. Orgel to serve for Wisconsin. Gillen, there's the block. Booth and Robinson. And Wisconsin's block, again, is just doing such a great job. But on that specific play, they saw that there was really one, only one option, and Carter Booth took a huge step to the outside so they could get a nice close block right there. That floats long from Orgel. Service error number six for Wisconsin. Anna Hogue back to serve for the Razorbacks. Oh. Great offense from Wisconsin. Started with the dig from Guchtekin. It ends with the kill from Thomas Ilara. That kill from Thomas Ilara is one of those points where if you're the Razorbacks, you, you just look at each other and say, all right, we forget that one, move on. Look how powerful she is in her approach. That swing didn't even get too high off the ground. Just a really quick approach play. Oh. Gillen gets the point against the Wisconsin block. She's just so good at seeing the block and really using it. She's swinging into it, but finding that they're on their way down and really using that to her advantage. Robinson off the block, Wisconsin point. And if you're Arkansas, you're saying a, a little prayer, thanking God that Robinson's coming out of the game because she's so effective on that right side. It's hard to beat her at the block defensively. When she gets that air, it's not usually a block. It's usually her overcorrecting herself and hitting the ball out. She's so, so good at keeping that ball in play. 13 kills to lead all players, hitting 550 for the match. Float serve from Hamill. Cartwright with the kill. Cartwright has been so effective on the right side, and she's hitting that cross so much. I think that the Wisconsin block really needs to focus on bringing the block in the court and taking away that super sharp cross hit that she has. Cartwright's been good against big teams. Last year, there was a win against Washington, a win against Georgia Tech for Arkansas that got their season started. And Cartwright was really strong in both of those matches. And there's the middle. It's so important to get the middles involved and for them to be up in transition. And she's doing a great job of that. And then just throwing the ball around and finding where the defense isn't. Ooh, oh. Nice save. Cartwright. Gets another. There she is again, that cross-court swing. We mentioned it last year. She had 14 kills, hit 430 in the win over Washington. Nine kills, hit 350 in the win against Georgia Tech. Cartwright with eight kills tonight, and a timeout is called here in set three by Wisconsin.
Week one lineup, SEC football on Saturday, noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, Kentucky hosting Ball State. Number four, Alabama hosting Middle Tennessee. Number one, Georgia hosting UT Martin, six Eastern, five Central on SEC Network Plus. Mentioned Western Carolina and Arkansas. Oh, Sam Pittman, the Arkansas head coach, is in attendance here tonight as his team gets ready to take on Western Carolina in Little Rock. Again, that game was moved up because of the heat to noon central time on SEC+. Plus. He's locked in right now. His Razorbacks up by four here in set three, even at a set apiece. Arkansas brings the block. Cartwright's doing it all from the slides to the kills, not getting these blocks and shutting down Wisconsin's outside. Look at this timing from Cartwright, lining up perfectly with her middle, pressing both hands back into the middle of the court, not letting anything pass that wall. That is the third block for Arkansas, but their first since the first set. Smrek, a lot of nets, point Arkansas. I think Wisconsin's getting a little predictable here going to their outside so much. They need to try to incorporate the back row a little bit more or throw it in some other direction, maybe to Caroline Crawford on the slide, something just to change up because the Arkansas block is there waiting on, on Timmy to swing on the outside. Wow. No there stopping that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start Gotta with a great option pass from Orzel, staying in system from the service receive is why it's so important for Wisconsin to get out of that rotation. Exactly. The Arkansas middle Pettis had to stay more neutral there. Um, she couldn't just release the outside, so it gave a lot more court for Tiddy to work with. On the overpass, Orzel drops it down. Love the emotion from her. She's really mm -hmm. hyping up her team right now, trying to get them back into it. They're down by four, but... You know, with a motion like that, it's really easy to get back into this game. She's been fighting that serve tonight, though. Toss and serve is one of the hardest to do because it's so unpredictable. Even if you toss it just a couple inches too high, that can mess up everything. Whereas a float, you just toss it a little bit right in your face. It's, it's much easier to have the float down. Step wow. back for Smirk. Both teams are really utilizing the right side of the court here, and they're effective, um, so effective at it on both sides. I think the blocks on each side need to really focus on closing that seam and not allowing these big hitters to get in the seam and get those hard kills that are really hard for the defense to get to. Nice. Hamill. Defensive posture for the block. Teammates couldn't get to it. Give the point to the Razorbacks. I just want to highlight Arkansas is passing right now. This nice high pass allowed for a great set and for Taylor Head to get on top of the ball and around the block to the setter. Sweat guy saves lives. Right, Logan? He does. He truly does. <laughs> Don't lie, you Look never at him. sweat. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> there he is. I have a feeling somebody let them know. Uh, oh, Shelby famous. and Logan are talking you guys <laughs> up, so be sure you play it up a little bit next time you're on the court. <laughs> Smrek goes long, point for Arkansas. Oh, Arkansas. And Arkansas is just going on a run. It's all about momentum. If you ever see the Badgers get down, go pick on them because that does not happen often. That's an ace. There you go. That's, that's the that's momentum huge. that Arkansas needs to hold on to. And if you're Wisconsin, you just got to get out of this rotation. Looks like we have a change coming up. Yeah, we have not seen Sarah Franklin here today. And again, Kelly Sheffield had made it very clear that he's got such a deep team. He's trying to play with the lineup. We don't know if it's the case here, but Sarah Franklin, after not playing in the first two sets, she comes on here in set number three, and we know how critical she's been to their success 
here for Wisconsin. For sure. She's a great player. She can do it all. She's really improved defensively and with her shots. So it'll be really interesting to see how she comes in back row right now and then what she does with the front court. And Kev, Kelly Sheffield said that she's a threat from the back row. That's something that Wisconsin can also use to their advantage is keeping her in the back, making her hit high. First team all Big Ten a season ago. To Robinson. A huge dig. Dug out. Here's Gillen. Point for Wisconsin. It's a great job by Wisconsin, but I want to point out how Jillian is still taking a swing on that ball from the libero. It's a scramble play, and she's still being aggressive. It's so important for Arkansas to continue being aggressive in this game. Izzy Ashburn serves. Good serve. And wow. good block. Oh, there it is. Carter Booth. And that's what Wisconsin is really focusing on going into this set is shutting down the right side of the court for Arkansas, and that's that's a great way to do it. <laughs> Robinson. Gillen, wow. the block, it's Booth and Robinson again. Gillen's Huge still block. going for those aggressive swings, but Booth is just on fire at the net right now, doing a good job at lining up with her outsides, her right sides. Look at these shoulders touching right at your screen. How Booth puts her hands over, makes sure she's connected with Robinson. Ten blocks now for Wisconsin after the slow start, starting to pile them up. Took Robinson out. There's Franklin. And a violation on Arkansas. Sarah Franklin getting that confidence, feeling good right now from the back row, doing a great job at being aggressive from a kill by Gillen. You don't have to be an expert at the sport to recognize a good digger pass. That's why I just love volleyball so much. And it's so fast. I love, I love always football, I love baseball, but there's nothing like volleyball. It's the fastest sport out there. Just all the plays, it's amazing. Exactly, something's always happening and it's really easy to stay engaged. So it's really exciting to see the growth of the sport and excited for the future. Gillen out of the timeout, tries again. Robinson. Gustikin, nice great job by Wisconsin defensively to stay in this point. But wow. they can't win the point. Arkansas wins the point. Good battle. And remember when watching Gillen right here, number 10, she is 5'7", and she is up against two six-foot-plus blockers, and she could care less. She's going right for the hand. She's staying confident, going through that block and being so aggressive. They run it to Booth in the middle for the kill. She's unstoppable in the middle right now. Arkansas is going to have to find a way to continue to serve aggressively, get Wisconsin out of system. Orgel back to serve for the number one team in the country, the Wisconsin Badgers. Dropped set one, 25-21, came back to win set two after falling behind by five. Gillen with a big a swing. swing. Keep feeding Gillen. It doesn't matter if it's a secret at this point or not. She is on fire. She's moving her shots around, going with the hands of the blockers, going for the star libero, doing everything right. And Wisconsin knows it's going to her, but she's still able to get a kill right there. The block is there right in front of her, and she's able to use it. Gillen now 13 kills for Arkansas. Franklin couldn't get that one to go. Point for Arkansas. Good, and that's a rare error by her. She's coming off the bench, and so she's kind of warming up right now, but we're going to see some big swings from Sarah Franklin tonight. On opening weekend, Franklin averaged 3.4 kills a set to lead the team. Seven kills in the first set of the season against Baylor. Robinson. Black. 
Blocked oh. back. And that's a good recycle play. There, you can't always get a kill. You can't always swing super high like that. So Arkansas needs to be in there covering that ball uh, so they can recycle and try to score again. Kuchtikin serves for Wisconsin. Wow. Dillon with the block. Robinson tries again. Great hustle, hustle play. Great hustle. They play on. Wow. Robinson ends it. And that's three in a row. Three sets to Robinson, and she's going to find a way to score at the end of the day. Great job by Robinson on the right side. But this hustle is unmatched for Arkansas. It's hard to be Wisconsin when you're that out of system, but you got to stay in the play doing a good job at that. 14 kills for Devin Robinson. Hitting 429. Again, not this time. Hogue to Cartwright. That block will sail long. That's a great swing. And with Robinson, it's all about just slowing her down. She's going to get some really great kills, but I think Arkansas's block is doing a good job of getting really good touches, and the backcourt is doing a great job of getting the ball nice and high to the middle of the court to allow for swings like that. Wow. There she is. Feed her again. Again and again and again. 15th kill of the night for Devin Robinson. And that kill by Robinson is why it's so important for Arkansas to serve as tough as possible in the seams. And Orzo having a three option pass, making the easy decision to go to Robinson on that line shot. Great in system play for the Badgers. Some pats on the shoulder for you, Robinson. <laughs> Free ball here for Wisconsin. Smrek. Orzo. Great dig. That's long. Out of play. Point for Wisconsin. Within one here in the third. And that's a really smart play by Sarah Franklin. You know, she couldn't get a super heavy swing on it, but she put it on the center and put Arkansas out of system. And the libero had to come in and set. Great play by her. Arkansas is up by one, but they are hitting 115 in this set. Trying to hang on here in the third. Nice dig. That's out of play. Point for Arkansas. Back up by two. That play is what Kelly Sheffield was talking about when he says Arkansas wants to run fast. The setter giving their outside an extremely low hit, forcing her to speed up that approach and making Wisconsin late to the block. Courtney Jackson will serve. Hamill with the set to smack. I think the Wisconsin back row is doing a really great job on passing right now. You know, they're just getting high in the middle of the court and allowing their setters to use all their offensive options. And Logan, when you would, with Texas, would travel to the away games and there's sold out, sweat guy, we see you. <laughs> sold out stadiums, everyone's <laughs> screaming at you. They sweat, oh, they got their own graphic. Wow, oh, we love them. You're welcome, sweat guys. We love them. Did you, when everyone's screaming at you, did you love that? Did it make you? Oh yeah. Yeah. I think that's what playing at this level is all about yeah. is the competition, the crowds, and really embracing that. And I think both teams are doing that. They're using the crowd to their advantage. and. It's just so fun to play in environments like this. Orzel with her second attack error of the night. Boyer, who had come on for Franklin, now comes out. Franklin's back in as Maggie Cartwright heads back to serve.
What a serve. Good serve by Cartwright. Timeout called by Wisconsin as Arkansas is on top by three. Well, we talked quite a bit about Jill Gillen and Taylor Head, but how about the play of Maggie Cartwright here tonight to help Arkansas in this match? Arkansas outside Maggie Cartwright is on fire. That's because her setter is finding her in every situation, whether it's the slide from the back. And her block is unmatched right now, but mainly it's all confidence. She does not care. She's up against the number one team in the nation, one of the best blocking teams in the nation. She's still going for these shots, doing a great job. And that's what it's about. It's about being fearless. You can't play down just because the opponent's really, really good. So it's really cool to see her confidence and the way that her teammates are trusting her and just continuing to give her the ball. Had nine kills in the most recent match against Tulsa. Hit 471, hitting 273 tonight for Arkansas, who took set one, dropped set two, and now they're on top by three late in set three here against the top-ranked team in the country, Wisconsin. The Hello. Razorbacks be jamming tonight, Eric. Uh, Give me a little dance. Come on, and we shy. Let's see it. No, no, no. Hang on, hang Let's on, see on. it. Let's see it. No. What? Is, Come on. Is, it, is this the Macarena? Shout out, DJ. Everyone knows the Macarena. Come on. The, the Macarena is so 20 years ago. It's so like I'm, wedding I'm, song. I'm yeah. current. I'm, I'm forward thinking. You're with thinking. the times. OK, OK. <laughs> All right, name me one Migos song, Eric. Go. <laughs> I'm, I'm beyond Migos. I'm, I'm, He's uh, even more I'm current. So on, Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm give me, thinking, give me some Taylor on. Swift. Oh, Anything? yeah, come on. Well, I mean, it's only a five-set match potentially. I can go <laughs> oh, on and on all night. He's a Swifty, guys. He's a Swifty. <laughs> all night. Logan seen Beyonce soon. I am. I'm so excited. Is this before or after you go to Turkey to start your <laughs> professional career? Because you're trying to fit in a lot before you go to Turkey I'm next week. I'm doing a lot of things before Turkey. She's used to being busy. Something every day, yes. That's what I'm made for. <laughs> Franklin, there's that back row attack trying to mix things up here for Wisconsin out of that timeout, and they're within two. And that's something they've been working on so much. She's so improved out of the back row, and watch how she got her feet to the ball. The set was a little bit more towards the center than she expected, but she got her feet there and was able to turn it back and find the open court. Great work for her. That's a tip. So the point goes to Arkansas. And there's Taylor Head again, just using the block. And like we talked about, this Arkansas team is fearless. They're not scared of this block. They're going to use it as much as they can. And yeah, it's working out for them really well. I would be interested to see Hannah Hogue use Taylor Head at the back row attack. Something that Jason Watson said, we don't do too much of the back row attack. Something that Wisconsin does a lot. But I think Taylor Head would do a great job hitting behind the 10-foot line. For sure, and I think it would throw off the Wisconsin block too because they haven't seen it a lot this game. So that would be a really great choice by Hogue. We got a little delay here. I don't know if there's some sort of distraction off the court. Maybe there was a light on somewhere. Just, it's just pausing things for a second here. We're trying to get... Everything just out of the eyesight of the players, which I think they'll do, and we're ready to resume. There it is. We resume with Arkansas getting another point. And we see the Wisconsin passing lineup. They're already shifting to the left there. They know that Arkansas is targeting that C move between the two outsides, so they're already shifting that way. But great job by Taylor Head of still hitting that seam and being really aggressive there. Taylor Head being relentless, picking on Sarah Franklin, who didn't come in till that third set. If I'm Taylor Head, I'm going for her again. For sure. That's where they and go. And she does. <laughs> Booth off balance, got it across. Off hands. Franklin can't get there. Set point, Arkansas, and Barnhill is rocking right now. Such impressive play by Arkansas. <laughs> Wisconsin hanging in there, 24-20. And great job by Anna Smreck. Not going for these rolls or tips, staying aggressive, even on set point against Arkansas, being very confident at the right front. 
And there goes Wisconsin again. They're using their right side of the court. It's so effective right now, so we should have expected it to go there. Great choice by MJ Hamill. Is the Ashburn set point number two for Arkansas? Battle at the net. Way to play. Ooh. And a point for Wisconsin. A little dispute from Arkansas about how many contacts there were. They're called for four contacts, correct? Yes, four contacts. Arkansas is going to challenge this point. Okay, we needed some more drama this set. As if there's not enough drama, yeah. love a good challenge card. I think this is the first challenge we've seen this match, yeah. right? Yeah. It is. Critical time to do it, too. So we're waiting to hear what they may be looking at. And when we get an idea, we can go through our replays as our officials here tonight. Andy Martin taking a look. Ron Stahl is our R1. So Arkansas saying they touched it three times and Wisconsin touched it at the net before Arkansas did. Okay. That's what I too. If you're Arkansas, you touch it three times, you're the middle, you can fake out. Oh, here we go. Oh, they're going to replay, oh, replay the point. Wow. Now, Kelly Sheffield has the challenge card out here because I think maybe he thought this wasn't going to go his way. One. All right. One. Oh, there was contact there. Two. Three. Now, who touches oh. it first? I, uh, it, it looks uh, like Wisconsin did. Okay, I think Carter Booth touched I it think. first. Yeah, I think Carter Booth touched it first for sure. This is the first time I've personally ever called a game where the challenge is a replay. I, I have to say, I don't think I've ever yeah. seen it like this either. Yeah. It was a close call, though. Yeah. It looked like both players kind of did touch it like right at the same time. So mm -hmm. it's like, how do you? And we don't know what they're saying right now, especially if Different judges, CD for different things. Yeah. And let's see. Yeah, Kelly Sheffield had his. Well, the, the coaches, Sheffield. the coaches are lined up for a little time. <laughs> Absolutely. They're if it's set point, you're Kelly Sheffield. You think you see something that they don't see? You get that green card immediately. Uh, he hasn't had to hand it over yet because Andy Martin went back to the monitor to review something after talking it over with Ron Stahl. So Sheffield will put away the challenge card for the moment. What I was saying originally is if you're Arkansas and you touch it three times and you're the middle, you can fake out like you're going to touch it, but you cannot touch that ball. Let's watch it again here. One, two, okay. Well, Who touches it first here? Well, hang on one second. Now, it doesn't always have to be called, but the Libero went over the line. Okay. As so there's well, could that thing. be what Wisconsin is looking at? I think that's what Wisconsin's at. looking at for sure. And it honestly looked like Carter Booth was attacking that ball and Pettis was kind of going up to block. So that's another. All right, see if anyone's under the net right here, over the ten, over the middle line. Well, watch on the left, the Libero in white going for it. And oh, then she oh dives yeah, over. she's under. Now the officials have said this can now be a non-call if it doesn't impact what's happening on the play or being in an area where somebody could be injured. That's happened so quickly though. We're slowing uh -huh. things down. And new rules like that are gonna be a big thing for coaches to argue about. Because that's that can really come down to an opinion. Well, I don't think it affected the match. I do think it affected the match. That's a that's definitely a reason that Kelly Sheffield should get the ring card out for. For sure. And I could definitely see the frustration. If that was me, I'd be frustrated as well at that point. You can clearly see the libero going under the net. It just depends, does this affect the match or not? For sure. And I guess that's not challengeable, the under the net. Twenty-four twenty. Ashburn will serve again and gets the ace. 
she's such a great server. Playing against her in the past, like her serve is so consistent. It, she drives it deep, she drives it so flat. It's really hard to read if it's gonna drop short or carry deep and fell short right there. What would you do to pass against her? How'd you get a good pass? Oh, well, you gotta step <laughs> up and just get your arms out as early as possible because it moves a lot. Yeah. Wow. Ashburn up. keeps Wisconsin alive here. Robinson. Wow. That drops in for a point. And the tension gets a little tight here in Barnhill as Wisconsin, they were down 24-19. It's now 24-22. Devin Robinson doing a great job at seeing that block from Arkansas a little off the net, not much but enough for her to take great advantage of. I love how she spins around and makes sure that stayed on Arkansas' side. Great hit by Robinson. Oh, she knew. She knows. She, uh, she, all right, she do a little knows spin when she gets for a kill. fun then. Well, yeah, you've known Robinson for a while. Tell oh, yeah. us about her. Oh, she's awesome. Playing with her is, she's one of the best people to play with. She's so positive. One of the biggest hype men ever, and she can also put the ball away. So great person to have on your team, and she's obviously showing out tonight. And like Kelly Sheffield said, she's one of the glue. She's part of the glue of this team. You know, she really brings them together. She's a leader on the court, and she's going to take this team to really big heights this year. So each team has used their allotment of timeouts here in this third set. Funny, this third wow. set uh -oh. has felt like it's gone back and forth, but Arkansas has not given up a lead here in this set. Trying to put it away. So they'll have another set point here with Ashburn on the service line for Wisconsin. And for these last few points in the third set, it's all about who can make just no errors, who can be the most consistent, the most effective. Even if you don't get the kill, you can't hit it out right now. There's absolutely no room for that. Just keep it in play if it's not your set. For sure, yeah. It's about not making errors, but also still being aggressive. You don't want to see any players take anything off the ball just because they're scared to make those errors. They still want to be aggressive. Arkansas still has two match points, so they're, they're in it. They can be aggressive here. One good pass, and they can take it away. Wisconsin trying to stay alive here in this third set. Three nothing run for the Badgers. Set point, blocked back, and Wisconsin fighting back here in the third. That Wisconsin block, it's not gonna go away. Such a great duo with Booth and Robinson. They do a really good job at connecting their hands, their shoulders, their bodies, really align perfectly with one another. 4-0 scoring run. Ashburn, who else? Robinson. Wow. Wisconsin has come back to tie things up. A reminder, you've got to win by two. We're even at 24. I think Gushigan liked Robinson's kill. Not too sure it. about that, but I'd like it too if I was her teammate. Look how high she gets. <laughs> how she literally turns her body to go right for that cut shot. Not right in front of left front, but right in that seam. Great eye by Robinson. Wisconsin was down 24-19. They have come back on a 5-0 run. Ashburn with a clutch service run right now. Gillen blocked Ooh. back, and Wisconsin keeps the run going, and now they have a set point. And Robinson is just taking over this game right now. She's doing it offensively, defensively. She can really do it all. And look, she's continuing to talk to her team, telling them to stay calm one point at a time, and they can really take the set. Another good serve by Ashburn. Good dig by Ashburn. Robinson. Robinson dug out. Good defense by Arkansas. Robinson again, runs down the tape. What a comeback by Wisconsin. And that was all Robinson there. They kept giving it to her. Arkansas knew they were gonna give it to her, but she was able to finally get it there at the end. A seven nothing run by Wisconsin. They were down 24-19. They fought off. The positive block touches that Arkansas is getting. They're digging so many balls because of it and allowing their offense to really take over. 
So heartbreaking, obviously, for Arkansas. They're for sure. Twenty-four, nineteen. What's the mindset, Logan? What do they need to do right now to get back on track here in this fourth set? Yeah, I think the biggest conversation in between this these sets is just let's reset right here. You know, they know they're capable of going up and going on big runs against Wisconsin, and so it's just let's reset. Let's continue passing high middle of the court and find a way to continue to score. Evans, Guchtekin with the dig. Orgel tracks it down. Gillen. Franklin ends the point. And Sarah Franklin taking full advantage of Sutter Hannah Hogue being in front of her with that right side block. Not the biggest block. Franklin going for those fingertips, getting that nice tool. Second kill for Franklin, who didn't come in until set three. And a service error for Orgel. Eighth service error for Wisconsin tonight. Devin Robinson leading the way for Wisconsin, 18 kills. Her career high, 21. It came against Pitt in that memorable five-setter in the NCAA tournament last year. Franklin. What a wow. swing. It's like she's getting into the rhythm, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. She's ready. She's ready to take over this game for sure. But that was a great first play where I heard just seeing that she couldn't take a super hard swing. So hitting into the block so that her yeah. defense could cover her there and then resetting to take that big swing cross court. Oh, great nice. save, but it doesn't clear the net. Point for Arkansas. Good, great off speed there by Gillen. A nice shot by Gillen, but Franklin did a nice job at coming from the left front, putting her body on the floor, trying to get that touch. That's something that Kelly Sheffield prides himself on is his team's hustle. Gillen with the serve. And it's out of play, point for Arkansas. That's a rare error by Robinson in this game, but really smart by her. She saw that the, defen the defense was super deep and wanted to place it where they weren't, and almost worked. Exactly what you were talking about earlier, yeah. is when to swing and when to know the defense is starting to cheat back and go for those tips. Exactly, super smart player. That one's gonna float long. It'll be a service error for Gillen in Arkansas. That is their eighth of the match. Robinson and Ashburn will come out as Hamill and Smirk come on. Arkansas hit 353 in one set one. Wisconsin bounced back with five blocks in the second set. Nice dig. Nice dig. That one will roll down the tape and out. Point for Arkansas. Franklin with the error, but incredible defense from Wisconsin. Orzo really sacrificing her body, but doing it all right. She stopped in base. Her arms are out. Her platform set. Doing a great job. Oh, great job. Quickly done by Wisconsin. Smrek gets the kill. Earls are handling that first contact so well there. She knows that they're targeting that seam, and she is, has her arms out super early. Gets a nice high pass to the setter so they can get it right to Smrek in the middle. Smrek now with eight kills, hitting at 333. Oh. <laughs> Point for Arkansas. Nice. What a great dig that is. And great vision by the middle of turning around and just being ready to do something with the ball. Perfect reaction from Jill Gillen. Look at this hand, how she puts it back to target somehow. Mill in sequence, getting that ball over the net. Again with that dig, all in reaction. Maggie Cartwright 
Nice serve. Nice serve. Nice serve. Nice. nice. The Arkansas team is doing a great job of targeting these outside hitters. They're trying to keep it away from the libero because she's such a great passer, and they're doing a really great job of being nice, effective serves to those outsides. Yeah, nine aces tonight against those eight service errors. It's huge. By comparison, one ace for Wisconsin tonight against eight service errors. Cartwright trying to build a little momentum from the service line for Arkansas. Service pressure is key here. That's all they're going to say in this match is that they continue to put that pressure on Wisconsin. And the run ends. Well, Cartwright tried to change things up. She had two aces where she went really, really deep, wanted to hit in front of that 10-foot line, which would have been a nice, but what she was doing was working. You know, it's like, why change? But why change? I see both ways. Yeah. You're catching, you can catch the Wisconsin passers super deep and drop it right there in front of them. Taylor Head wow. with the kill. Logan, that hit from Taylor Head reminds me of you from the contact <laughs> because you can literally hear how loud she snaps that ball on the left side. And look at this approach right here. When she hit that ball, you can literally hear it from the opposite side of the court. That's how powerful she is. For sure. Service error for Head and Arkansas. Wisconsin back within one. One set away from taking this match. Two teams will meet again tomorrow night here in Fayetteville. 8 o'clock Eastern Time, 7 Central. Have that one for you on ESPNU. Izzy Ashburn, who had that service run to close out set number three on the service line now for Wisconsin. Oh, what a day. nice up. Oh, wow. Arkansas was ready to celebrate the point a little too soon. Blocked wow. out of play. Now the Razorbacks can celebrate. And look at the middle. Pettis staying in and being ready to set that ball. Great up by the libero and great, great quarter winners from the middle. Just being there, getting it nice and high for Gillen to take a really big swing. That play was my favorite play of the match so far. Got Both sides literally using their bodies as shields to get these up. So much fun to watch. Franklin nice. tried to find a spot, but missed the mark. And Arkansas gets the point. They're up by three here in the fourth. They need to win this set to keep the match going. And Arkansas knows what it feels like to have a lead over Wisconsin and then to lose it. So it's all about, like Logan said, staying efficient while staying extremely aggressive at the same time. Pettis with the serve. Orgel wow. blocked. Nice. Undersized blocker right there, but just being really good, being quick over the net with her hands and really shaping them back into the court. Watch her hands here. She sees it, shapes her hands right back into the court. Great block. Yeah, that's the setter saying, I can do that. I've got that. <laughs> Don't underestimate me. <laughs> she didn't like Robinson testing her. That's right. <laughs> Gillen dropped down off the block by Wisconsin. Point Badgers. Both blocks are doing just such a great job right now. Obviously, that block by Wisconsin, but we see that Arkansas is still getting really great block touches right there. They got a great block touch on Carter Booth. We're able to dig it and get a nice high set to Gillen right there. Here's Orgel. Been fighting her serve, not this time. Franklin, oh, oh, well done by Guchtekin to set it for her, and she knew what to do with it. There's the classic Sarah Franklin kill from the left side. And look how tight she is on the net, left of your scream. She really doesn't care. She's not going for that tipper roll. She's using all the power and reaching as high as she can. 
Evans with the kill for Arkansas. And there it is again, Arkansas using their middles. It's really important to get the middles involved. You know, we see that the Wisconsin block is kind of cheating and going ahead out to the outside. And so getting the middles involved really helps with our offense on this side. Wow. Franklin, Ooh. that one is in Point, Wisconsin. What a shot. Honestly, if you blinked, you're going to miss Sarah Franklin get the kill. That's how fast <laughs> she swings. That's how hard her arm goes. She does a great job getting her feet into the ball, too. It was a little bit of an inside set, and she got her boot there to get inside of the block. Gillen winds up and delivers. Point for Arkansas. So much spring going on from Jill Gillen. And look as she just freezes in the air. She's so springy, she has mad hops, and she's not scared of those hands in front of her. Late last year, she missed four matches with a knee injury. I was there the day they were playing A&M, and she was hurt that day. I was so disappointed not to be able to see her, so I'm really excited to see Gillen healthy. Came back in time for the NCAA tournament. Arkansas got a first round win before being knocked out by Oregon in Eugene. Their first trip to the NCAAs in nine years. Coming into this match against number one Wisconsin, ranked 21st in the country. Up by two here in set four. Great pass. Wow. Nice set by Hannah Ho, doing a great job at finding that three and great hustle by Wisconsin. Everything looking right, but Arkansas doing such a good job at taking advantage of that free throw, excuse me, free ball, wrong sport, hello, and doing a really good job at finding that corner. Great play. Yeah, great job by Taylor Head, kind of slowing the ball down. She knows Wisconsin's deep and like really dug in, ready to dig these hard driven balls. And so she wanted to change up the speed and paid off for her. You know, no. a free ball is like a basketball free throw, okay? I, I so that's where my head is no, no, no. going. I got your back on this one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. the folks around here are hoping there's a little basketball magic because the last time a number one team came here to Fayetteville was Auburn in men's basketball two seasons ago. And next door at Bud Walton Arena, Arkansas knocked off Auburn. So they're hoping for that little magic here. And, so far, so good here in this fourth set. They need this set to force a fifth up by four. They can handle against Arkansas. Arkansas took set one. Wisconsin bounced back in set two. Arkansas had set point in set three before Wisconsin came back. Arkansas trying to fight back here in the fourth set in the best of five. Pettis. Oh, that was Great crafty. Spot. What a great spot by her. She knows the Wisconsin defense is dug in again, ready for those, those hard swings, but she finds the deep corners. Great spot. And good hustle by Orzel. Yeah. Not able to cut that ball off, but still chasing it down. Franklin wow. off of Hogue's shoulder, point for Wisconsin. Sarah Franklin is the example of what happens when you are so strong at volleyball because when you have that much power in your arm and you can place the ball where you want to, it's almost impossible to get up, especially when she picks up that line shot. Oh, Smart gets the kill, but great defense by Wisconsin to stay in that point. And even yeah. Pettis getting a touch on Sprex ball, that's that's really good to slow the ball down. Like Logan said, the block's not there to always get blocks. It's your front line defense. It's there to slow the play down, even with a little touch. Wow. Cartwright got a lot on that one. We haven't seen Cartwright much this set, but they definitely need to get her more involved because that's what she can do for them. And good attempt 
by Wisconsin libero Gucci again, doing in her base, being stopped, but that ball just had that much heat from Cartwright. Great balance for Arkansas tonight. She is the fourth player into double figures and kills. What and a block. block. And the point for Arkansas. That's huge. Arkansas just looks like they're having fun right now, and that's something that Logan talked about. You can't take yourself too seriously. You got to be able to have fun, and it's fun when you can balk a six-nine and a smreck, doing a great job for the Razorbacks at that front line. Timeout called by Wisconsin, trailing by five here in set four. 1,299, largest volleyball crowd in program history. Cartwright with the serve. Franklin from the back. It's a great touch off the block. Orzo. Oh, 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 that's nice. not going to be caught. Point Arkansas. Great job by the Arkansas block, staying strong and connecting at the right front and middle front. And Hannah Hogue not touching the ball, but doing a good job at starting to take away that line shot from Wisconsin. She has fully gained the respect in her block against the Badgers. Nineteen thirteen. Cartwright with the service error, point for Wisconsin. Still super important for them to be aggressive on that serve. I know it's a miss there, but it was low. It was super, super deep, and that's what they're really going for here. Crawford with the serve. Oh. Wow. An actual bullet from Arkansas. Cartwright just coming in for that line shot. Coming for blood, in my opinion, with that hit. So strong, so fast. Right to your screen. Excuse me. Pettis is doing such a good job at finding that line shot against Crawford. Great hit by the middle. Great spot by Carter Booth. She can come in and swing super hard, or she can really find the court in any way. Great vision there. She saw that the defense was sucked in, and she just tried to go deep corner. Sophomore from Denver, first year with Wisconsin after transferring over from Minnesota. Preseason all Big Ten selection. Here's Ashburn. Taylor oh. head with the strong play. So good. She passed that ball, but was still ready to take a big swing, and that's what this Arkansas team needs to do. They need to be ready at all times to take big swings just like this. And great to see Arkansas getting in that back row attack game that Wisconsin so good at, doing a great job at taking advantage of that back row hitter. Pettis got to it, but it goes out of play. Point for Wisconsin. Back to a five-point advantage for Arkansas here in the fourth. Orgel will come on and serve. And beautiful play by Carter Booth. It's hard to watch her style of play and know she's a sophomore. She plays like she's a senior. She's confident. She has a lot of wisdom with her sight on the court. She's really fun to watch. Such an elite player. Set to Gillen. Wow. Franklin. What a dig. Great cover. Franklin! Oh. What a swing. But both teams are playing such great defense right now. It's so fun to see. This is what volleyball is all about. Mm -hmm. It's just those relentless plays, and it makes the game fun. Yeah, this is great volleyball. Everyone at home, you are in for a great match. Franklin. Gillen got there, good hustle. Taylor Head okay. drops it in for the point for the Razorbacks. Much needed because remember what happened last set. It was the big lead for Arkansas, 
And this is the third time Hannah Hogue has gone to Taylor Head in the back row. That's something that the Razorbacks weren't doing at all that first and second set. Looking really confident, using different hitters in different spots this time around. It was 24-19, Arkansas in the third set. Wisconsin went on a 7-0 run to end it. That point critical for Arkansas from Taylor Head. Try to stop any momentum from building up for Wisconsin. And now back on the service line is Hannah Hogue. And sets it for Gillen. Dug out by head. Bodies go down, the point goes on. No stopping that attack okay. from Robinson. Yeah. 19th Robin kill. Robinson's back in, that's their trusty player right now, so they're gonna keep going back to her. What a hustle play this is though. And watch head still get a swing on it. And that hustle from Arkansas is the reason this match is so good. They are staying in every single play. Bodies on the ground. Set back for Cartwright. Tried to direct it far side, couldn't get it to go, and it is another point for Wisconsin. Yeah, right idea there, but it's times like this when the game's getting down to the down to the end. It's, you got to be smart. You don't want to make errors. You want to take big swings still. Let's see how they do. Arkansas crowd sensing it getting a little tight here in the fourth. They go to Gillen. Wow. You need a point. Go to Jill Gill with the kills. What a swing. So impressive. That set's coming so fast, and she's still able to elevate and hit the hit those speakers. Jill Gillen is hitting the ball like she's mad at it. <laughs> this whole set, she looks angry when she's hit. Wisconsin uses their final timeout here of set four. They are down by four, 23-19. Wisconsin wins this set, the match is over. Arkansas wins this set, will play a fifth set to 15. And Arkansas knows what it's like to be this far ahead in a set and have Wisconsin the number one team come back and get you. Every point matters so much. Franklin, off hands, and a point for Wisconsin. Great swing by Franklin there, just using the high hands and pulling the block down the line. Hamill and Smrek will come on as Ashburn and Robinson head off for the Badgers. And this is a big test for Arkansas. Hamill's a great server, so it's how fast can they side out and get the serve back on their side? Cartwright. Franklin. Franklin. It's a great dig. Wow. Dug out by Gillen. Smrek, no getting this one. It's 23-21 here in the fourth. I knew this would be a good volleyball match, but this is, it's crazy that this is the start of the season and this is already the volleyball we're getting. Like, what does this say for the rest of the season? The competitiveness is at an all-time high. I'm having so much fun watching these players. Yeah, and both of these teams look like really complete. It's mm. the second weekend of the year, you know, and they're playing so well. So it's like, yeah, how much more are they going to improve this year? What are they going to look like in November, December? It's exciting to see. Yeah, by the way, it's still August. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, we live in Texas, or at least I do. I know it's August. <laughs> 107 in Houston. I'm just saying we've got great volleyball here in August. Imagine what's to come. Exactly. September, October, November, into December, leading to Tampa in the middle of December. Set point for Arkansas. We saw this in set three. Can Arkansas put it away right now and force a fifth set? Wow. 
Wow. Wisconsin fights off a set point. Smart shot by Sarah Franklin there. She's been hitting really hard down the line and kind of switching it up, going short there. Catches the Arkansas defense off guard. Set point number two for the Razorbacks with Franklin back to serve. Arkansas pulls out in set four, setting up a decisive set five against number one, Wisconsin. When we better no matter what from this, and to see the fight his team has put up, couldn't ask for a better volleyball match than this tonight. Well, he tapped into his Australian roots when he said, no one's a good surfer if they never leave the shore. And they've gone well out <laughs> yeah. to sea here Absolutely. to catch some big waves against Wisconsin. He said it's a phenomenal opportunity for us, and the surfing's been good so far, and they're up one here in the fifth. Again, we played a 15 here in this fifth set, winning by two. What a dig. Uh, off the attack by Robinson. Wow. And the point for Arkansas. What a dig. Way to just use your body to get the ball up. Beautiful digs on both sides right now. Everyone even putting one arm, but somehow making it go back to target. There's not only hustle, but there's accuracy on both sides of the net right now. And Gillen put it in a way. It's not always swinging hard, but just putting it in the right spot, and she did that. Now with 20 kills. Answered by Booth for Wisconsin. Booth's been un unstoppable, so it's really nice that Wisconsin's able to get a good pass to use her. Orgel serves for the Badgers. Gillen, another kill for Jill Gillen. That's 21. And they're going to just keep going back to her. Wisconsin needs to be ready because she's not going away this set. If you're wondering, her career high, not even close, 33. Oh, she, oh my gosh. <laughs> she can go off. Nice up. Great hustle. Great hustle play by Head. Can't keep it in play. The point goes to Wisconsin. And beautiful block by Wisconsin. Devin Robinson doing a great job at reading Gillen's shoulders, making sure her hands are pressing against her and putting up a perfect wall. Hogue for Gillen. Ties it at three. Easy what a decision swing. for Robinson. She saw middle for Arkansas. Zoe Evans was late to that block. Watch right to your screen. Watch that block. Wide open split right there, making it easy for Robinson to choose that split. Franklin. Great block touch. Cartwright finds the spot. Wow. She's just so good at hitting that sharp cross right there. Really gets the ball around her body. I thought this hit for Cartwright was going out. That's how much she cut this ball. Perfect spot. Absolutely no one from Wisconsin even able to get a hand on that. Nice cut. Off the block, out of play, point Wisconsin. Go tooling that block again. She sees the Arkansas blocker kind of reaching out and just using that to her advantage, Sarah Franklin. Okay. 
And Jay Hamill in to serve for Wisconsin. Good serve, an ace for Hamill. What a serve. Nice serve by Hamill. And Arkansas libero Courtney Jackson's really good in serve receive, but she ran up on that ball, something she doesn't usually do. She's not stopped right here when contact's made. She kind of moves her arms last second, something she probably will not do again. Hamill gets her first ace of the season. She led the team with 38 a season ago. Comes at a great time. Gives Wisconsin their first lead of this fifth oh. set. A little miscommunication there. Wow, five to five on set five. It does not get any better than this. Little miscommunication between Franklin and Libero Cooch again. Ball lost in the air, something you do not see often from the Badgers. And if you're Arkansas, you're saying, thank you. I'm going to go on a run with that. Sure. And great start by Cartwright. She's been hitting a lot of balls cross court, but just mixing that tip in really catches Wisconsin off guard. The block for Arkansas. Sarah Franklin coming in with a big swing. Yeah, that caught tape. It caught tape, but Arkansas still taking away that line. Wow. What a swing. Spreck. Again, when Wisconsin's passing well, they're able to use their middles. They're really, really hard to stop. And for both Wisconsin and Arkansas, I'm so impressed by the chemistry that the middles and setters already have in August before conference play even starts. That's usually the last thing that clicks in teams. Really great play with those positions. Ooh, what a block. Crawford goes solo for the block. Crawford 16 with the stare blocks for down. The team. Crawford perfectly aligned up against Arkansas Middle, doing a great job at reading that play, the shoulders, and taking away that shot. That's going to find an open spot. Spreck gets the kill. That is her 12th of the night. Teams will change sides here as Wisconsin gets to eight points. Logan, when you played, was it always a mini goal in fifth set to be the first team to get to eight to switch the sides? For sure. I think this break kind of like pauses the momentum. So it's really important to kind of get that lead, get to eight first. So you kind of have a little bit of calmness going in and starting the fifth set again. And if you're Arkansas, you're thankful for the break because that, like you said, it does break momentum. So if you don't have the ball, at least you know Wisconsin's momentum is somewhat paused. For sure, for sure. That has to serve really tough against the Badgers. And out of the changeover service here for Wisconsin. That's their 10th of the night. It's a big break for Arkansas right here. Let's see how Cartwright can put the ball on Wisconsin's passers. Crawford puts it away. Nice dig from Arkansas. Libero has body on the ground, putting it to target, but not able to keep enough off the net. When you play a team that has the length like Wisconsin, you cannot give any type of overpass. Boyer with the serve on for Wisconsin. What a swing. Head with the kill for Arkansas. And there it is, just taking those aggressive swings. That's what it's going to take late in this game to stay in it. 
And now a Taylor head at the back. Jill Gillen is back up at the front. Something Wisconsin's going to be conscious of in taking away shots. Smack off the antenna. Point for Arkansas. We're tied at nine <laughs> in the fifth. This is the craziest match right now. This is the defense, the offense, the blocking, the serving. Everything is so competitive right now. Wisconsin passing two here. Razorbacks with a chance. Gillen yeah. off speed. It works out for Arkansas. They're on top by one, playing the 15 here in the fifth. Such a great shot. You see the Wisconsin block reaching up. They know she's gonna. She's a big hitter. She's a big jumper. She's gonna swing hard, but she sees them reaching up and just use that that's her advantage and finds a tiny little seam to drop it short right there. 22 kills on 59 swings for Jill Gillen. The libero and then Sarah Franklin are outside, and they pull Timmy out of server seam. That's, yeah, that's a bold move in serve-receive, especially with the tough Arkansas serving team. They serve it at Franklin. Arkansas has got it. Pettis. Gillen. Wow. Oh, Franklin wow. kept it alive. Whole body. Wow. Gillen Turn off speed. Up. Wisconsin still battling. Pettis off hands. What a rally. What a point oh. won by Wisconsin. Amazing digs this from defense. both teams. The defense, everything right now. And Sarah Franklin, Why, Sarah? middle of the court, body as a shield, literally giving her body on the line to get that ball up, not just up, but to target right in the middle of the court. Great play by Sarah Franklin. Wow. It's crazy to see this level of volleyball this early in the season, seriously. They're just relentless on defense, digging everything, getting it off the floor. It's really, really cool to see. Ashburn had that service run to close out set three. She's on the line right now for Wisconsin. Tied at 10 in the fifth. Oh, Franklin, again, again, again. And again, and again. Great block touch. Oh. Wow. No getting this one, though. Pettis wow. off of Robinson. What an angle that was. And again, a great block touch by the setter there. They're able to get a nice high ball so that they can run the slide. Perfect slide by Sanaya Pettis. Going straight for that cut shot. Not afraid of Robinson at the right front. Going for the kill. 11 10. Pettis with the serve, and that one's going long. Service error for Arkansas. That's their 12th. Orgel comes on for Wisconsin. She'll head back to serve for the Badgers, even at 11. Gillen. Wisconsin stops it once, and a second time. Robinson goes long. Robinson claiming there was a touch. Kelly Sheffield will go to the challenge card, and he will ask for a video review here to see if that swing was touched by Arkansas. The call on the court, no touch. Point for the Razorbacks, who at the moment lead 12-11. This is the perfect time for Kelly Sheffield to grab that green card. It does not matter what I think. I didn't think, though, that I saw a touch from Robinson. I could be wrong, but I really like how she turned to Kelly Sheffield and said, Coach, green card. And sometimes, a lot of times, Logan, tell me I'm wrong. The coach doesn't even see. They have to listen to you as players on the court. For sure, for sure.
right here. See go. if Devin Robinson has a touch. It doesn't look like the ball spins either. If the ball spins, that means the opposite player touched it. Again, doesn't matter what I think, but I didn't think I saw a touch. Yeah, I'm not seeing a touch there. It is a nice high swing by Robinson. She was definitely looking for hands, but it's not looking like she got any contact on that ball. And listen, even if this doesn't go Kelly Sheffield's way, this breaks momentum for Arkansas. This is really a free timeout. You grab that green card. Now, let me flip that on you. If our referee comes back and says, no touch, call stands, this arena gets a little bit fired up. Arkansas gets fired up. So this could just be momentary for Kelly Sheffield to try to slow the momentum. Here's the call. Point for Arkansas, relief for Arkansas. The crowd is up, making some noise here. And they are up 12-11. Yeah, this crowd's into it. They're standing up, they're, they're cheering loud. It's gonna be tough for Wisconsin. Hannah Hogue, Arkansas three points away from upsetting number one Wisconsin. It's a great pass. Carter Booth, point Wisconsin. Carter Booth has been unstoppable this game. She's up and she's ready to swing every single time. And that's, she's really making a difference this entire game. Carter Booth finding chemistry with her setter, Izzy Ashburn, looking so in sync. That's why it's so important for Arkansas to serve tough. Good, good serve. They go to Cartwright on the slide. A point Arkansas. Wow. And again, it starts with a pass. We got a nice high pass. Hogue was able to give it to the slide, and it's been working so well, and there it goes again. So much time. It's a great swing by Cartwright. Gillen. Robinson. Point, Wisconsin, tied at 13. We talk about how important it is for Arkansas to serve tough. That was a great serve by Arkansas. Yulia Orzel just so good in serve receive. So even when you are serving your toughest at Wisconsin, it could be an ace for other teams. Wisconsin serve receive is just on point right now. They're handling it so well and giving their setters so many options. MJ Hamill on the serve, tied at 13. Need to win by two. Head. There's the block. Ooh, huge block. Match point, Wisconsin. Huge block. Great Shrek. connection with Sprek and Crawford. She just surrounds that ball. It's so hard to hit around her, and she knows where the ball's going. She gets there early and gets her hands right back into the court. Huge 17 time. 17 blocks tonight for Wisconsin as Crawford and Sprek team up to give Wisconsin Match point, timeout called by Arkansas. 17 blocks from Wisconsin and only six from Arkansas. But look at the fifth set score right now. You would never know the blocking is that off because that's how scrappy Arkansas has played against Wisconsin. Amazing, amazing volleyball. It, it truly does not get any better than this right now. For sure. And hey, even though they're not, they're not getting sub blocks, they're getting amazing touches on the block. Right. And their defense is doing such a great job behind them, just getting the ball nice high middle of the court and allowing the setter to distribute the ball. All right, you two, you played the game. Take us on the court. You're facing match point. You're the team that needs to win this point. What's the emotion like? What's I'm the I'm going to let the natty ring oh, holder man. go first. Logan? I'm asking for the ball. I'm telling my setter, set me the ball right here, and let's end this quickly. So. It'll be interesting to see who from Wisconsin steps up into that role and says, hey, set me the ball right here. Let's end this game, and I'm going to do it. Well, this position right here is where both teams talk about in practice. Take the pressure off yourself and put it on your opponent. The test literally does not get any bigger. For Arkansas right now, you're at home. You're playing the number one team in the nation. You've come to the fifth set. How do you take the pressure off yourself and put it on to Wisconsin? And same with Wisconsin, back to them. For sure, for sure. And a lot of these coaches tell me, including your coach, Jer Elliott Logan, your former coach, that they recruit for these moments. They recruit for who can shine at the highest level under the brightest lights, who plays like they do in practice and in games the same way with that least amount of pressure on themselves. For sure, yeah. This is what it's all about. I think so many players, too, they want to play in college for moments like this where they're really tested and they have to show up. So we'll see. We'll see who shows up right now. 
Match point Wisconsin MJ Hamill to serve. Franklin. What a dig. Battle at the net. Arkansas wow. still fighting. What a dig. By Gillen. Yep. And a whistle. Oh, wow. Violation. Jason Watson is grabbing the card right away to challenge it for the moment. The match belongs to Wisconsin, it would appear, but. Looks like the libero was front row or in front of the 10 foot line, setting the ball with her hands. Oh. What's the call here? So for those at home, the libero is the only player that can run in and out instead of subbing. They have to be behind the 10 foot line when setting. If the libero sets with their hands in front of the 10 foot line, the attacker has to stay on the ground and looks like Taylor had jumped. Okay, Let's so take it. us through this replay then. Let's see it here. Great dig by Gillen there. Libero is behind, behind the line. She's behind the line. Also a beautiful set. What a set, that's great, yeah. That's also something coaches recruit for is setter or liberos with beautiful hands to set because if the setter takes that first ball, libero is the one who steps in and sets the ball. Yep. So contact can be made as long as the foot is behind the line as they leave back behind that line, right? Correct, that's okay. Correct. The and body she, can be over. She she launched behind the line and we're appearing on that replay. Correct. Her right foot was on the ground behind the 10-foot line when she set that ball and so seems that we'll see what the call is but it seems clean okay also her the left up, foot is in the air the up she by Dylan yep. no one's pointing out she did the splits to get <laughs> that up wow a great play overall for Arkansas but it's your opinion that this play is legal completely yes. legal yeah that's my opinion great court awareness by the libero Courtney Jackson, knowing where she is on the court, using her hands, making sure her left foot didn't touch the ground, but we'll see what our referees decide. Here's the call. Well, not yet. So suspenseful Still a little right bit now. More this discussion. is crazy. For the moment, the score tells a story. Wisconsin, 15-13. But we're going to replay the wow. point. The match is not over. What a play by Arkansas. Arkansas has fought so hard. And they've earned this point because their libero has a beautiful set. Feet behind the 10-foot line with the beautiful jump back set, making it look easy. So we're back to match point again, 14-13 Wisconsin, and again, handle the skirt serve as they replay the point. Cartwright, dug out by Hamill. Franklin. Franklin again. That does it. There it is. Wisconsin wins it in five here in Fayetteville. Huge swing by Sarah Franklin right there. Beautiful kill by Franklin, finding that line shot, making put, put progress happen at the front, but also the back, doing great job with the digs in the front, being that team leader she is. Kelly Sheffield said she is the heartbeat of our team, not scared of the Arkansas block in front of her, staying aggressive this entire match. And that's what they needed. They needed to stay aggressive in this fifth set. That's how they were going to come out on top. Wisconsin did a great job of handling all the things that Arkansas was throwing at them, and Arkansas did a great job of doing the same with Wisconsin. Such a high-level match this early in the season. So glad to be here and be a part of it, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, how about we do it again tomorrow? Why not? Logan, yeah. you're going to come back I for more tomorrow? Idea. Awesome. I love that idea. I don't know how, honestly, the match could get better tomorrow than yeah. it was today. I, this was everything. The serve received, the serving, the digs, the hits, everything was so amazing.
So Wisconsin pulls it out 15-13 in the fifth set after winning set four, 25-22. And we will do it again tomorrow night. For Logan Eggleston, Shelby Coppage, and our entire crew, I'm Eric Fried. So long from Fayetteville.